The book is about uh, the surveillance state, it's about pharmaceuticals, it's uh, sort of about uh, like a, a sort of apocalypse towards the end, uh, and it's about a, uh, a young married couple in Indianapolis falling apart. There are uh, human guinea pickers and uh, a sadomasochistic FBI agent uh, having an affair with one of my protagonists. Um, and, uh, yeah, things blow up. For one thing, what motive could you possibly have? For another thing, what did you do with the weapon? The officer stares at Robert as if waiting for an answer. Was that a question, Robert says after a moment? The officer laughs and claps his hands together. Oh, you're good. You're not going to just walk into a setup like that, are you, Mr. St. Clair? He's good, Ivan. He said he was a lawyer, didn't he? Says the second larger officer. They're slippery. There's a lot of very strange elements in the book, but they tend to be a sort of externalization of the things that are going on inside the characters. So rather than sort of external things being internalized, it's more their sort of internal states are uh, externalized in the events of the book. I'd like to bash your head into the wall, the second officer screams. Would you like that? Would you like it if I bashed your smug law school face into this concrete wall right here? This is harassment, Robert says. I'm not under suspicion for committing any crime, am I? Uh, in my, my previous book, I wrote, uh, it was sort of composed of all of these flash fiction pieces. And in some ways, this book is an attempt to sort of write a flash fiction piece that is um, 220 something pages long. So I, I um, tried to write it with a lot of that same like sharpness and quick turns and like very quick movement from sentence to sentence um, and just trying to stretch that form and see just how, how far it can go. The pacing of most novels is much more this sort of long steady pace. You don't have this sort of friction between sentences usually, quite, uh, at least not quite as much as you do with flash fiction. Um, and here I was really, I was trying to write a novel where sort of every, paragraph felt like it had an arc, every sentence felt like it had an arc, the movement from sentence to sentence always felt like that sort of snap that you often get in flash fiction. Um, and trying to maintain that for uh, like the length of a novel. Um, so hopefully uh, that's exciting and, um, and uh, a little nerve-wracking, a little gut-wrenching um, for the reader. He disappeared. Disappeared? Vanished into the moonlight. They found this. He holds up a tuft of what appears to be brown fake fur. And this. He holds up a pair of black goggles. The officers stand hunched over the interrogation table, examining this evidence. Look, am I free to go or aren't I? Robert says, finally. Yes, damn it, yes, says the first officer. Did anyone say once, this entire time, that you weren't free to go? Thank you very much.